Good afternoon. Oh my gosh, I could not do it this morning. I tried, I kept falling asleep. Couldn't do it. And when I joke about getting off here and taking a nap, it really is a nap, because in like two hours, our canine babies tell me they gotta go outside. So it's like two hour income. Not only do they wake me up, we end up going outside and pee, and I don't go outside and pee. I pee inside, they pee outside. But then I can't get them back in. But then after I'm out here dancing around, doing a jig, trying to get them to come in the house, then I gotta go inside and try to fall back asleep. It's just craziness. <laughs> well, what I was gonna talk about today is a lot of my friends, I got an awful lot of people on Facebook that's having surgeries, you know. Um, different ones is having carpal tunnel surgery, knee surgery, knee replacement, um, um, torn ACL, um, so like I said, my Facebook walls is full of updates on what's going on with people and my heart goes out to them. I had surgery on my lower wrist one time. It wasn't a great big surgery, just a little bitty, I don't know if you can even see, I got a little scar right there, yeah, you can see it right there. And Dr. McGurk got rid of uh, arth clusters of arthritis, some bone spurs, and fixed my tendon like up in my arm right there, I was having trouble with that. I guess he didn't get rid of the arthritis, he got rid of the calcium buildup. I was making the arthritis, and it'll come back, that's what he said, for sure. Anyway, I was told that I wasn't a very good patient. I could take, a, some, take care of somebody all day long, but I hate somebody having to help me, maybe a better old lady. Well, one of my biggest challenges, and I'm sure all the girls will understand my pain, was trying to put on my slingshot with one hand. And we all know that when your uh, size is several letters of the alphabet down, you're not going to go without one. It's not possible. Well, it is possible, but you'll end up on the Walmart <laughs> shopping site. You know what I'm talking about, the pajamas, no bra, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but Cindy's so good to me, she's like, I'll help you put that on, and then you won't have to do it yourself, and, and uh, it'll be like teamwork. <laughs> now you got to be able to wrap your head around this. Now our slingshot sizes are several letters of the alphabet different, like maybe five letters different. <laughs> So what I'm used to on a daily basis, she don't have any clue. She just doesn't have a clue. She says she can take one off. Hell, a lot quicker she can put one on. <laughs> so I'd get out of the shower and I'd still be damp. I'd try to dry off. So I'd be in the front, holding the front down. She'd be in the back. So she'd grab the latches, grab the latches and start hooking it up. And I'm like, uh, no, uh, nobody's in up in here. You know, everybody's still out. So on one end of the spectrum, I'm trying to, I'm trying to guide the girls. She's trying to guide the material. She couldn't see what she was doing. And at first, sadly enough, it was almost like she was like achieving, like you know, climbing Mount Everest or something like that. She was like, "Oh yeah, I got this." I'm like, "No." I'm like, the material, the slingshot is right half in the middle of it. There's not the half in, you know, from uh, <laughs> and the other bottom half out. And I'm doing my best to keep this clean because I could go really descriptive, but I won't because I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> so she got to where she would throw me like forward, then pull me back, and then try to like lasso him. <laughs> it was crazy. We'd be in the bathroom. Our bathroom is not very big, and it was just like one, two, three, uh, one, two, uh. We'd both be sweating our asses up by the time we got everything controlled. It was about time for me to take another shower. I was drenched. She was too. It's like, I mean, that's not something she throws around every day. I mean, with her, she's like, oh, I'm in. <laughs> and I'm not making fun. I'm jealous. That's what I am. There was one time, I mean, she, we was doing that forward, back, lasso. So she started hooking it up and I said, no, I look like I got a lazy eye. I mean, one side was all the way in, the other side was half in. I was like, look like I was going. <laughs> it was, it was a chore. It was hard. <laughs> I mean, that part of it, I would not want to have to do that shit again. That was difficult. I mean, that, and, uh, we finally got it figured out. But, I mean, I was so glad when I could do that shit myself. Because that was a pain in the ass. It's just a slingshot. It was a pain in the ass. 
I mean, not to mention all the other things it's a chore, like trying to get your pants up and down, going to the bathroom, or shaving, shaving under your armpit. When you're shaving, you just kind of hold it with the razor in the bad arm. You end up moving your arm up and down <laughs> to accommodate for your hand that doesn't move. <laughs> I was pretty excited that it was my left hand. I'm right-handed. I was thinking of all the shit that I'd have to do left-handed. And if it had been my right hand, I'd have probably had to hire someone to brush my teeth and wipe my ass and, you know, wash my... Oh, God, everything I do is right-handed. <laughs> So I hope that all my friends that's having surgery and having uh, been in the hospital, hope you guys all have good loved ones It's going to help throw you around. And I hope that help you take care of your junk and wipe your butt and all that. But it's a pain doing that, trying to do any of that crap by yourself. I'm glad I didn't have to. So everybody take care. I'll be thinking of you and hope it's a quick visit. And hope before you know it, everybody's, you know, out of the hospital and at home. Maybe drinking some sweet tea and popcorn and, and binge watching on Netflix. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> so I love you guys and I'm sure we'll talk sometime tomorrow. I hope you have a good night and, and rest well. We'll talk later. <laughs> But the blues are brewing The blues are brewing When the wind through the willow Blows across your pillow And tells you sleep